old lady. Okay, we're streaming! Here we go! I'm gonna bend down a little bit here. Hi guys! We are live! And we're a little bit late. These are my little elf children. This is Hayden. Hayden, say hi. hi. This is Kyla. Kyla is a chatterbox, so I'm not going to ask her to say hi because she'll give you her full life story on live here. She's totally a ham. Um, we're kind of crowded up on my table here and we're ready to do um, a quick live painting where I'm going to demonstrate with the children uh, how to paint, how to draw a basic gnome and then paint it. So it's based off the last video that I did. And if you guys haven't checked that video out, you should totally check it out. Um, when I switch my screen, you're gonna see exactly which gnome, but we're gonna try a different variation of this gnome and make it a lot simpler for the kids. And then uh, they've each got their own painting set. So just to let you know the equipment that we have, we've got paper, we've got uh, a pencil to do a basic sketch, eraser, uh, one paintbrush, let's not overcomplicate it for the kids. And then they each have their own painting sets like I mentioned. Oh, and paper towel and a bowl of water. And that's it. And then it would be me instructing. So uh, if you've got kids in the house, and you want the kids to join in, uh, feel free to join in right now with us, or um, I guess just watch the replay because I'm going to be posting this all over anyways and it'll be available for you guys. All right, so let's begin. Hold on, I'm gonna switch the camera over while they chit chat. Oh look, Natalie's there, say hi to your mom, Kyla. Hi, mom. <laughs> Natalie's here looking at you. Okay. Can you leave now, Mommy? Please. Uh, no, your mom's not uh, going to leave. You're making your debut online here. Can't you just, like, call her? Hi, Suzanne. Um, okay, so I'm going to switch the camera over so you can see my table. Give me one second. There we go. Let's move my coffee because you don't really need to see my coffee. So I'll have the girls up at the top and I'm actually going to flip this screen over here so you can see their, their table or what they're doing rather. So Hayden, you can if you can shift a little bit over on this side and then this way Kyla has more space. What's, what's Just got to adjust the kids a little bit. So you guys can see what they're what they're doing as well. And this is going well, okay. So what I'll do is because I don't want there to be too much confusion, I'm going to first focus on Kyla's sheet and then for the next half we'll focus on Hayden's sheet. So Hayden, if you don't mind, boo boo, just move over a little bit. Why did I call you boo boo? Because you are my boo boo. Are you embarrassed? Be careful. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is the gnome that I was telling you guys about. Beautiful. So we're going to, I'm going to demonstrate and I'm going to have the kids draw it out first. So let's, let's find out. Kids, what, uh, what do you want the gnome to be doing? Should we just do a simple gnome today? No. Can we do like a gnome holding a candy cane? A, ho a gnome holding a candy cane? Yeah. Okay. Let us do that. Make it uh, a girl. Yeah, let's make it a girl. Well, With the whole point, hair. remember, the whole point of the gnome is that they've got this big white beard, which so, makes like, it we easier. Can, like, we can make, okay, like, a... Uh, fine. We can make, like, a shirt, and it just looks like hair. And then we can, put, we can put presents beside it. Yes, so you can do presents beside it just like the ones that I have, and we can go with that, okay? Okay, so first things first, super simple. Let's get started with paint, uh, with drawing the gnome out. The first thing we want to do is draw the hat. So as you can see over here, I have a gnome with a hat that's kind of flopping to the side, 
but you can have a gnome with a hat that goes straight up if you want. So those are your two options, okay? I want to make a Christmas hat. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off by doing one horizontal line, which is across. This is going to be the base of the hat. Kyla, you want to try and make sure that you're drawing more to the center of your sheet so that we don't have too much space on the left and the right, okay? So let's just keep that in mind, girls. So here's the base of the hat. And then you want to almost make it like a triangle. So we're going to go upward. And I'm going to give mine again a slight flop at the top. And then it's okay if it's not perfect because we're not looking for perfection. Yep, that's right. Yep, go all the way down there. Perfect, good. And now you can do the little fur ball at the end. So do your little circle. No, 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 no. <laughs> Remember, we're only doing a base drawing. So try not to press your your pencil down too much and also um, try and draw this in lightly so that when we go in with our colors we don't have too many marks do a bigger okay that's fine you can leave it that small if you want to and I'm just gonna finish mine and then we're moving on to the next bit for this okay all right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create the nose. Um, the beard. Beard. The beard for our gnome. I'm just moving my slightly so you can see better. Okay, so for this beard, let's just see. You can do a beard that looks very similar to what I have over here. You know what? Let's just make it similar to what we have here. To keep things simple okay so do you need help with how to do that Kyla no. and Hayden no so by looking at this can you just have a look at this and draw your own yes yeah. Yeah. okay so I'm gonna give it to you guys and I'm going to demonstrate how I draw that over here so that everyone else joining us can see that so we're just going to do one line this way a little bit curved I'm going to make this a nice fluffy beard, another one on the other side, and then we're doing little jaggedy edges. And then the middle one can be a nice little twirly one here. Something like that. I'll do one more on this side actually because I just while we're not looking for symmetry we do want it to look at least mildly like it goes together so I'm just gonna do that here we need to give this slight bit of a curve so that it matches this side okay so there's our beard. You guys done? Okay, Kyla and Hayden, try and do less of this because if you do something as detailed like this, you're going to have a harder time painting. So you see how I have Hayden, yours is better. Kyla, if you can just do maybe five, it's fine. Okay? So here, let me help you out. Let's not fight over live. Okay, girls? Please and thank you. All right, so we're doing our little sides. We're doing our little bits this way. And just erasing this off. So literally, this is just a base drawing so that when you are going in with your paints, you know exactly how you're going to be or where you're going to be painting this, okay? And Kyla, if you want to draw this later on and do your own style, you can do that after. But for the sake of this video, because we are live, I'm just kind of helping you out a bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Also, this is the first time you're doing this, so good job. 
Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and create the nose. Now, if you look at this one right here, the nose kind of almost, the hat almost kind of goes on top of the nose. So, yeah, Kyla, that's pretty good. Hayden, you can go ahead and do a nose as well. Okay. And I need to have just a little bit of a curve, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase a little bit of my middle section and I'm going to make the nose, which is going to be more of an oval, circular kind of shape Combo. here. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. Let's, let's try not to erase too much. We're not looking for perfection, guys. Okay? So let's try not to over erase. We want to have fun. We want to do a simple gnome. And then once I show you how to do this, you guys can go ahead and create many more gnomes if you want. Okay? We done, Hayden? You ready to move on? Okay. So as soon as you're done your nose, we're moving on to the next thing. And the next thing is going to be... The circular body. The outfit, that's right. Now, what I did in mine over here is I gave my gnome legs and stockings, but you can literally just have a gnome up to this way. If it's too hard for you to do legs and stuff, I think that's what we're going to do with you girls. We're just going to have the gnome end up to here, okay? No, no. Oh, you want to do legs? Mm-hmm. Okay. Go mm -hmm. ahead and do your legs then. Here. You can have it as a reference. Can I have a ruler? I'm sorry? Can I have a ruler? For what? Your legs don't have to be perfectly straight, little girl, okay? As I mentioned, we're not looking for perfection. We're not looking to straighten things out super, um, super picturesque, I guess. We're looking for organic, fun, and illustrative. Like this. This is not going in a museum. This is probably going to go up on your mother's, your parents' <laughs> fridge. Yes, that's great. See, you've given your your guy a lot of character. Now you can either... That's great. So he's got little boots. He's got little legs. He's got a body. I'm just going to erase this here so that we don't have too many pencil markings on your little base guy. drawing. Okay. All right. So I think we are ready to paint him now. Let me let me catch up with you guys really quickly. Don't we have to um make like uh what's it called again? I'm just gonna do mine without legs. Let's just see how this version looks because I already did one with legs. I'm gonna see how this one looks. And I'm going to actually give this one like a Santa hat. So I'm doing a border at the top for mine. And instead of yeah, we'll add extra stuff around the gnome after we've painted i was thinking to do like little mini christmas trees and did you guys say candy cane i said candy cane one of you said candy cane okay yeah, i wanted to do like mini arms in a circle and it was holding the candy cane. okay so first what we're going to do is we're not going to rub our hands on the um drawing okay because that smudges the pencil what we're going to do is we're going to start mixing our colors. So I'm going to move this aside. Hayden, are you ready? Okay, so I'm going to move this aside. I'm going to keep this as a reference here for anyone joining us a little bit later. And I'm actually going to turn this light off because I feel like it's not doing much help with the screen looking great. So move that over there, Hayden, please, and thank you. Now we're going to move your pencils okay go ahead finish that we're going to move your pencils because we need space so that everyone else can see your masterpiece that's coming along so first thing because i don't want you guys to make a massive mess what we're going to do is determine what uh colors you guys want to use so tell me for the hat what color would you guys like to use i want to mix like a red and a beige so we're just going to go with red, okay? We're not going to mix it with a beige. We're going to go with red. We're not ready yet. 
what color are we using for our body? Blue. No, Any kidding. ideas? A dark green. Green? A murky green. Yeah. A dark green. Okay, so we'll do green for the body. We'll do red for the hat. Remember, leave the little fur ball at the end as is. We're just going to paint these main areas first. And then after that, we are going to do the boots. What about the nose? And then we are going to do the stockings. And we'll leave the nose and the little fur ball at the end for the very, very end. Now, be very careful when you're painting. Let's start mixing first, actually. So you can take your stuff. And you know what? At this point, I'm going to move this over to Hayden's. But Hayden's is, Hayden, you would need to be this way a little bit if you want people to be able to see yours because it is, there you go. Okay. Oh, we're going to go right away. Okay, Kyla. <laughs> Okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. What we're going to do is go ahead and just continue painting the rest. We'll try and have to figure out how to do this. What I need you to do, though, is when you're painting, you're going to take the paint brush and kind of go along the edges like this. You're not painting as if you are painting with a crayon, okay? And you do the edges first. And we're not rushing. So what you did right here by starting painting without me saying that we're ready to paint is not okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So do what I said to do, doing, we we were going, going along the edges. Okay. You said we were going to do a pattern on the hat. Thank you for painting it red. Hayden, do you need help with painting it red? No? Okay, so I'm going to start painting mine. You guys go ahead. Everyone can see you on screen in your little corner. And when you're done painting the hat, please let me know because I'm also painting this here. And I don't want you to get ahead without me saying you're... We're moving on to the next bit, okay? Thanks, girls. Okay, so I'm going to open my... I'm done. Good, great. So just wait for me. So I'm going to open my colors and I'm going to get some colors mixed up. So because mine was already painted red here, my little guy, I'm going to bring him down here. I'm going to do the top part of this a green. And so I'm going to use the chromium oxide green this time. And I'm just going to go ahead and first, we're literally just painting it in. I know I said Santa's hat, but this is going to be a green Santa's hat at this point. So mixing some color, using my paintbrush, I'm just painting the inside of this hat. Okay, and then once I'm done, we're all going to move on to painting the body. Okay, so what we want to do is just move all the excess color that you have to the top and to the bottom. And that's good enough. All right, don't overwork it, girls, because when you overwork it, it doesn't look good. Because this is watercolor. You see how it's drying up? So we don't want to do that. And that's okay, because this is your first time trying it. We'll, we'll have to do it again after the live and then you can, you'll have a better understanding of how this works, okay? So I've painted my, my hat. We're now going to move on to doing the base bottom. So now, Kyla, you said you wanted to do a pattern on the hat. You can do a pattern for his little outfit. That's why I you can do stripes. Stripe. You can do stripes if you want. You can do polka dots if you want. Let's keep it simple. If you do not want to do a pattern for his outfit, just paint it a simple color so what color would you like to go for the bottom guys you're thinking of blue okay yeah go for it just make sure that your brush is nicely washed off so that it's not contaminated hold on hold on and now remember what I said about painting you use the tip of the brush 
to go outline it and then slowly paint inside otherwise something like this could happen or what happened at the top as well we're going to be painting outside the lines if you're not careful you're you're doing stripes me are you doing stripes kyla yeah okay all right the screen seems to be There we go, better. Okay, so I'm gonna do my bottom. Let's see, I'm gonna go for a red. No, I'll go for a Quinn Rose, actually. So again, washed off my brush, I'm getting some of the Quinn Rose, and I am going to go ahead and paint this in. So let me know when you guys are done painting, and we're gonna move on to the next bit. So if you are finished, please put down your brush and wait for me to be done. So just painting this along. Painting along, moving along. Kind of taking extra care to kind of go around his beard. Or her. It's not a her. It because he's be a, got a beard. It could be a bearded gnome. Bearded lady? A bearded lady gnome. Yeah, why not? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, those are very rare, no? Yeah, but no, we, this is a rare gnome. Yeah, then we make... This is a rare gnome, yes. Yes, I guess. it's a bearded lady gnome. Okay, all right. We're, we're doing bearded lady gnomes, people. We should probably give her hoop earrings at the end of it, then. <gasps> yes! What? Oh, no, what? I don't want any. Oh, then you don't have to. I was just saying you could. So I'm just perfecting my edges, and we are done the base. Again, I'm keeping mine super simple because I'm also trying to help the girls out. So... Yes. Hi, Rachel. Thanks for joining in with the kids and I. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that, Kyla. I know you guys are in a tight spot here. Hayden, are you done the base? Okay. We're done the base, Kyla. Are you still going? I'm done. Okay, you're done. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the stockings for you girls. I don't have any, but what color would you well Hayden I think you can you can pick two colors or three colors and just go alternating and start painting so go ahead and paint Kyla what would you like to do for your stockings for these mm -hmm. a pattern and I know what I want to do I'm sorry louder little girl a pattern and I know what I want to do okay but you've got a pattern up here so I would say maybe just go plain at the bottom okay think about it think about it but do what you like. What were you thinking? What color? Green? Another blue? Pick the colors you want. That's fine. You want to do green? Okay. All right. So I don't have any of uh, any legs at the bottom. But what I will do is I'll continue finishing the painting for the rest of the hat. And... I've decided I would like to do some metallics for the hat. So what do I have? I have some, I have some meadow metallic by KMS and that's what I'm going to use to make this a slightly different eclectic looking holiday hat. So I'm taking extra care to make sure that I'm not painting, putting my hand over the, over the Quinn Rose that I've just painted down. And I'm painting across. Um, a silver would have been nice as well. Or we could just do like a very light gray, but I wanted to make this one nice and fun and bright. You girls want to say something? You don't have to whisper. No, we're no, saying it just to each other. 
And you don't want us talking out loud, so... Oh, excuse me. Really, I don't want you talking out loud. Yeah, you said that before this. You're talking so. about the painting. You can talk about the painting. You can absolutely talk about the painting, and if you have questions, let me know. But we weren't talking about the painting. Oh, you weren't. Okay. We were, and we were, we were right. talking about it, and then we. And now I'm gonna go else. ahead and do the little fluff ball at the end. Can we use my towel? And no. Because I don't have metallics for you guys mm -hmm. right now. Boil your metallics. Yeah. yeah. Everyone watching Boy. right now, Boy. here's why I'm not allowing my kids to use my metallics. Because they have one brush and I can see exactly how they're mixing and cleaning their brush. And I do not want the metallics to be... I'm a little bit particular about my metallics. Sorry guys, I can't give you metallics right now. <laughs> I could have... If you told me earlier, I probably would have taken out another set of metallics for you guys, but these are my precious, precious metallics by KMS. So, you know, after this video, I'll give you those metallics, the ones I was referring to, and you guys can have at it with your gnomes. Yay. Okay, how are we doing with a better job. with uh, the rest of it? Yeah. Yes, okay. Rachel, this will absolutely be available later, so you can play this and paint along with your grandkids. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. I don't know who you are, but hi. Okay, so what's happening here? That, that, that's my stockings. Those are your stockings. Okay, yes. great, great, great. So now for the boots, because we've got so much color happening at the top, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave the boots black. That's what I was going to do. Perfect. Great minds think alike. Okay, so wash that's away your mind. brush. Great. Get some black. I'm just I'm, I'm helping you. Got some on there, and now you can go ahead and I'm paint. I'm older than Spencer and Jerry. I can do it myself. Okay, so finishing up the boots. Finishing the rest of and you this. You make these high heels. High heels. I'm actually thinking, what else can I add to my gnome while these guys are doing their little bits? But um, yeah, I don't want to add anything else to Ladies my gnome. Ladies' high heels. What I will do for my gnome is I'll probably add some Christmas trees on the side. Copycat. That is what I'm going to do. Aiden, how do you like So I'm just getting some dark green. You guys done your done your boots yet? I'm done my boots. They're they're not even boots though. Okay. So I'm they're gonna... high heels. So if anyone watching wants to do a little bit of a Christmas tree beside their gnome. Here's how I'm doing that. I'm starting from the top, doing using the tip of my brush, I'm and then just doing my... little jaggedy strokes all the way around. And then my high heel boots. Great, thank you. Please wait for me while I'm still instructing. Okay. And then we're going along, and we're doing these little V-shaped strokes, guys, okay? We're leaving a lot of white space in between, Ooh. and going all the way down and as I'm going downward I'm just using the tip of my brush to dip into my water so that it doesn't get too consistently dark all around and again leaving white space I'm going all the way down I have a question can we do the trees as well yes you can so I'm just going to demonstrate how the trees look here and then I will come and help you guys so again going down leaving a lot of white space and then finally, when we reach the base of it, I'm just kind of There's doing this jaggedy movement or strokes so that it looks more rounded at the base. And there we go, we have our little tree. I'm going back in to get just a little bit more of the dark color and I'm just gonna add a little bit of a line in here. And what that is going to do is it's going to allow the dark color to kind of fade and spread into the light color that we have happening at the bottom. And then I'm just dabbing bits of this dark green all around. Kind of make it look like a nice pretty little Christmas tree. There we go. We're done. Okay, girls. So you want to do a Christmas tree? Who said? Me and oh, nice. You girls you girls got it. Okay. Love it. Kyla, yours almost looks like a little pine cone as well. I think you can do pine cones next. Look at that. Good job. 
It's not supposed to be a pine cone. I know it isn't, but look at that. Okay, now it kind of looks like a centipede. I don't know what's happening now. Mm -hmm, that's mm, supposed to okay, but you know what? It's okay. We can work. We can work with this. We'll work with this. Okay. We'll work more on it. Okay. Use the brown to make. The and so now, are we done our Christmas tree, Hayden? You're done. Yeah, I'm just doing this. Okay. Oh, you did this portion for your hat as well. I was trying to do that. That's why I left that space white and oh. you colored it in for me. Right. Well, you should have drawn it in because I didn't draw it. No, I didn't see a line. But that's okay. We're not arguing online, okay? Next thing we need to do is let's move on and do the nose. Mm, I made the skin color already. You made the skin color already? Okay. I need to make my skin color. So you, you can either yes, use, yeah. okay, but you need to wash because now your nose it. will be green. If you don't wash your brushes, kids, your nose will be green from painting the Christmas tree. So make sure your brushes are washed properly before you head on and get a nice brown or like a beigey, mustardy yellow if you want. No. That w a little goes a long way. We don't need that much. This is okay. all we need. We can use vines. Okay, here we go. Let's not move things over either because it's making a jarring sound. Here you go. Go ahead and paint. I'm Hayden, can mix. you please move your sheet downward? I'm just going to mix Thank the you. color on the camera. I put it it's here okay. Mix. You can see you painting the nose. I can see you painting the nose as well. Okay? I'm using the camera. Oh my gosh, you movie stars. You guys are like movie stars here. It's not in the camera. I want to be in the camera. Moving the camera. Okay, I'm going to mix a little bit of my burnt umber. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow ochre to get like this brownie color. And then that's what I'm going to use to paint my nose here. And what I'm doing is I'm just lightly painting it all the way around. This is why the base drawing is helpful, guys, because if you don't have a drawing, uh, then you cannot, then you don't really know where you're placing things, right? My water seems dark. It's not clean like brush likes it. Yes, because I will explain to you later, you are not too washing your brushes properly. No. And you're taking too much color on your brush, little girl. Kids, just remember, watercolor doesn't work like other colors. You need just a little bit to be mixed up, and it'll take you, it'll go a long way. You don't need tons and tons of color on your palette to paint something this small. Hayden, I do not want you to touch this again, okay? Thank you. Are we done and ready? For what? For the next step. Yes. So the next step we're going to do is... The beard? The beard is going to stay white, I think. Yes, the beard is white, but what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little bit of a... I'm just adding a little bit of dark brown Can so I it's... The so there's a clear difference between my nose and my hat. Can That's I just me. Sorry, Hayden, you have a question? Can I make the beard gray? Yes, you can make the beard gray, but what I want you guys to do is don't just go ahead and paint the whole beard gray. And also, while you're mixing this gray, that's way too much color. Way too much color. That's going to be a black beard. Although, mind you, this could be a very young gnome. And so if you want to go ahead and do a black beard for this gnome, that is up to you. Okay, still too much color. So what what I'm we're gonna do? Gonna use it with Hayden. Yes, Hayden. you guys can share this color because this is a lot of color. That's this good. is a lot of color right here that you guys. This is how much color the girls have mixed, and this is actually a lot of color right now. But I'm gonna try and have them dip just the tip of their brush in it, and then paint the beard. I think it'll be harder for the girls to kind of do what I did in the in the video for the gnome which is where I just literally used a light gray and did these little lines. And we got that nice effect of gray and white happening. The kids prefer to just go ahead and paint everything in, so let's not ruin their fun. 
So you don't need extra, you don't need extra color. Just take some water and spread the color around. And if there's pooling like that, you don't need any more water. You can use that water to go ahead and paint the rest. There you go. Okay, same thing with you, Kyla. You don't need any more water on your brush. You're just going to use this to go ahead and paint. So I'm going to go and do what I did for my video and just add little strokes of color in the beard. I like mine. And so I'm going to start off from the top here and I'm painting downward. And I'll do one of this. So it's very, very light. And then I'm starting another one and going downward here. And then I'm going to go ahead. Once you guys are done, just, just wait for me, okay? Don't do anything else. And I'm leaving white space because it is nice. Okay, we're almost done. I'm doing another line for this one. Kyla, can you please stop moving? Thank you. I know you guys are getting fidgety already and it's time for you to end soon. So I will be ending it. We're not prolonging this for too long. This is supposed to be quick, short, fun. All right, there we go. So I've done my little guy here. What I'm also going to do, because it's me, I'm going to take a little bit of that darker gray and just add some lines in here just so we can get some nice variation in color. There we go. There we go. Okay, so done my gnome. So let's see you girls. What are you doing? Okay, so you guys got to do your... So you've done the beard. You know, the same gray that you've used for your beard, use for your little... Aiden, I need to try. They can't hear you when you talk like that. Aiden, I need to try. Please? Please. So take a little bit. That's too much. That is too much. We're washing it off, okay? You literally need just this much and you're painting that in. Because remember, it needs to be more of a white. And you can just move a little bit there. Yeah, perfect, great, leave it as that. Leave it at that. Okay, so how are we doing, Hayden? Are you done? I'm doing that. Okay. Fabulous. So here's what I'm going to do. I, without further ado, we're going to leave you guys. We're going to show our no, artwork. No, no, don't, don't, don't do it. No. Ah. Okay. And so this is what the girls did. Kyla and Hayden and myself. And I'm going to move the camera over to us. Hayden, move your chair over here again. And that's what we did, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this session. A quick, quick, quick session on painting little gnomes with your kids. Um, we're going to probably try doing this again without any supervision from me. And uh, maybe I'll post it on Instagram in my story. So if you want to check out, check it out. All right, guys. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye. Bye.